All right, folks, as we are coming to the end of our Geneva International Motor Show coverage, here is our roundup of cars that we are most excited to see in India, starting with hybrids and electric cars. First off, we have the Jaguar I-Pace. Now, the Jaguar I-Pace is Jaguar's very first all-electric SUV. Speculated to reach India in the year 2020. At this point, there is no car that competes with the Jaguar I-Pace. Speaking of cars that don't compete with the Jaguar I-Pace, we have the Hyundai Kona. Now, the Hyundai Kona is an all-electric SUV. Hyundai have confirmed that that car is going to come to India in the year 2019. With a 39.2 kilowatt hour battery pack, a range of 300 kilometers, and quick charging that can charge the battery to 80% in under an hour, Hyundai say that they're going to be assembling the car here locally in Chennai and aim to offer the car in the Indian market under a price of 30 lakh rupees. And if they check any of those boxes, I think they will have a successful product on their hands. Moving on, the Lexus UX 250h, H being the hybrid. This is a smart-looking, aggressive, intimidating compact crossover that is a tree hugger at heart because it has Lexus's refined hybrid drive system that has a couple of tricks up its sleeve with a new trick CVT gearbox and AI built in that learns the way you drive expect this car to hit India towards the later half of 2018 or the beginning of 2019 speaking of hybrids we have the new Audi A6 well, this is not a full-blown hybrid, it's a mild hybrid, but not the Maruti kind of mild hybrid. This has an alternator system which gives the car a boost of 21 bhp and 240 newton meters of torque. With grown-up looks, a lot more space on the inside and quattro that comes standard across the range, the Audi really looks like it's set to take the fight to the Mercedes E-Class and the BMW 5 Series. Then brother, chop chop, we don't have all the time in the world here. Okay fine, moving on to SUVs. Starting off with that iconic Jeep Wrangler with all new looks, all new platform, all new engine options, everything new with this car, it still maintains that Jeep heritage. Will this be a success for Jeep in India? It all comes down to one simple fact. Hopefully this time Jeep priced the new Wrangler better than they did initially and if they do so, I think it'll do pretty well. Then we have the BMW X4, essentially the sporty version of the X3 but it's not as practical, it's more expensive and it looks... I'm still debating about it. The X4 will be expected in India with new engine options and will cost around 70 to 75 lakh rupees. Next up, the BMW X2. Basically, the cooler elder brother of the X1. It's got a more refined options. It looks even better. BMW say that this is the most youthful BMW they have produced. With funky colors, it goes against the likes of the Mercedes GLA in India. And the last SUV that we're excited to see on Indian shows is the Hyundai Santa Fe. Now, the Santa Fe hasn't done too well in India in the past, but this car with new looks, new interiors, new engine options, is this the Santa Fe that we've all been waiting for? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Now, before we pack up and move on... Jeet. Oh! Pack up! Guys, I'm not done yet. We are done. I didn't mean that pack up. No, dude, two more minutes! Two more minutes! Oh man, looks like we don't have a lot of time left, so let's speed things up. Starting with the Mercedes A-Class, the baby mug finally gets the attention that it deserves. All new looks, all new platform, new interiors, new engine options. Is this the baby mug that we've all been waiting for? We'll have to wait till the end of this year to find out. Moving on to the C-Class, the staple C-Class finally gets an interesting looking facelift with refreshed interiors and a new engine option altogether. Is this going to ward off the upcoming threat from the new 3 Series and the A4? Well, we're going to have to wait and find out. Finally, moving on to the supercars, we have the 911 GT3 RS. A 4 liter flat 6 engine. The ultimate 911 comes standard with the club sport package, which essentially makes it a ready to go race car. Then we have the 488 Pista, the most powerful V8 engine that Ferrari currently produces. With racing tech derived from the Formula One program and the GTA program, the car is just a sliver slower around Fiorano than the mighty La Ferrari, and it looks like a nine year old's wet dream. And last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, the Mercedes Benz AMG GT4 door coupe. Why is the name so long? This is a high performance performance four-door machine with the engine from the massive GTR. It produces a ton of power, it's got four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, active aero and even a drift mode with enough space for the kids, the mother-in-law and the golf clubs. Expected to be launched in India at the latter half of 2019. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude our coverage of the Geneva International Motor Show. <sighs> Goodbye.